Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into the video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Kukuli steering wheel and a, our uh, Kukuli steering wheel bracket on the uh, GR Supra. Uh, I know the other, only other solution that I'm aware of for the Supra, if you want to run a quick release, is the KMP one. Uh, but unfortunately, that steering wheel, you can't use your OEM controls. So the cool thing about our adapter bracket is that it lets you use the volume control and the cruise control button, so you can still switch maps if you're tuned and control the radio. So um, it's kind of a lengthy process, but uh, I'll be here to guide you guys through it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is pop the trunk and disconnect the car's battery. This way we don't get like blasted in the face by an airbag or like sounds or anything. Um, so if you guys don't know already, the battery's in the back of the trunk under the, uh, what you call it, trunk liner and all that. So you're gonna have this uh, little black plastic piece here. You just pop that off. And then uh, kind of fold up the red tab here. Uh, then we're gonna take our trusty 10 millimeter socket and uh, unbolt the terminal. It. I'm just gonna set this towel down here so it doesn't connect. Should be good. So you guys can see uh, this slot here on the side of the steering wheel. Uh, there's one on this side and one on the other side. What you're gonna want to do is take a really flat object, like a flathead screwdriver or something. That's the same width as the slot, and you're literally gonna pierce the material. So pierce the material like so. And you're going to press in the slot and press in the steering wheel at the same time. So this is possibly the worst part of the whole install. You really have to get kind of lucky and feel around with your tool to unclip the springs. Okay, so now that we have the airbag off, we need to take off these two wires inside. So this one right here and this one right here. Right, so now that the airbag is disconnected, we're going to take a 16 millimeter socket and take this one nut out. Uh, make sure your steering wheel is completely straight and uh, uh, take this out. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> it just... <laughs> Okay, now that we have the OEM steering wheel off, we can work on taking off the paddle shifters and the OEM cruise and volume control buttons. Uh, you're going to want to take a T20 Torx to unbolt the paddle shifter and unclip these blue wires that are holding the paddle shifter in. Now once the paddle shifter is out, you're going to take your T20 Torx again to unbolt the volume controls from the backside. Now once that bolts out, you're going to do the same to the other side. Now we're going to start working our way around the controls. They're just clipped in at this point, so you can just give it a little tug and they'll pop right out. Next, we're gonna move on to the lower portion. Again, just give it a tug and it should come off. Then we're going to unclip the wires that go into the airbag vibrator or whatever this thing's called. Uh, you're gonna take your T20 Torx and unbolt this yellow wire from the steering wheel. Now once those wires are out, you'll be able to pull off the steering wheel wire harness. So we have the harness here. Uh, we're just going to take it out of this plastic casing that it's in.
So we're going to be switching these paddle sh OEM paddle shifters out um, to the auto technic ones. I opted for the dry carbon ones. They look super cool. And then they gave us um, our fresheners as well. So thank you auto technic. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one paddle. So this is the uh, downshift side. Put this up here, put this here. So there is a plastic clip, if you guys can see, like right here. Uh, we're going to be pushing that through. That. So now that we have the module separated from the pedal shifter, uh, just be careful to keep the same orientation that you take it out of the OEM module. This is the pin that we pushed out. Now we're just going to simply transfer this onto that. Okay, so we have the OEM Supra uh, cruise control and volume controls here. Of course, our goal with um, our steering wheel bracket or quick release bracket is to be able to use all the OEM controls. Um, the challenging part about the Supra controls here is that they don't actually like unbolt together. Um, this is all one piece. So in order to have these two controls more free and have them work with our bracket, we're going to have to cut here and cut here so that these two modules can be free and we can place them where we want them. Now we have all our components laid out, we're going to take our battle arrow adaptive bracket and two plastic washers that are supplied in the kit and bolt it in with our T20 Torx bolt. Uh, you're going to do this to both paddle shifters. Now that we have our paddle shifters bolted on, we're going to move on to bolting in the OEM control modules. You're going to lay them on the bracket like so. This time around, you're going to just take one of the plastic washers that is supplied in the kit and bolt in the module using the OEM T20 Torx screw. Now we're going to take our short hub and our OEM wiring harness. Uh, first we're going to plug in these two bigger black plugs. We're going to insert them through the short hub and clip them into the OEM steering column. Now we're going to take the smaller black plug and insert it to the bottom and the bigger black plug goes towards the top. After those two plugs are in, we slip on our short hub, making sure that the center line dot is facing upwards. Now once we have our plug-in, we're going to take our adapter bracket with all our controls on it and plug in our paddle shifters. Next you're going to line the adapter bracket up with the short hub and kind of shove in all the wires into the short hub. It's a lot of wires but it is possible. Uh, make sure to allow the blue clips that go to the paddle shifters to slip through the slots on the adapter bracket. 
going to move on removing the wire harness from the OEM airbag. You're going to unclip the plug here, here, and here. It helps to use a pick tool to kind of unclip the wires. So this is your horn. Uh, wire that you pull out from the stock steering wheel and this blue wire here is the one that gives it power blue power for the horn goes to the red wire from the works bow quick release um, those two plugs are entirely different sizes so what I ended up doing was cutting away at the red plug and um, uh, that way we can connect it to the blue one uh, so it's a little requires a little bit of custom work but it's not too bad and next we're going to put this black plug to the earth, uh, earth connection right here. Okay, so we got this part all buttoned up. Uh, there are a lot of wires that you need to fit in the small circle. It is possible. Um, just kind of twirl everything around. Um, it's kind of a pain, but you can do it. So we have, to recap, we have our uh, energy hub. Then we have the earth plate, and then we have the work spell quick release. Attached to the earth plate is the black wire from the quick release. And the red wire from the quick release goes to the blue wire of the horn, uh, OEM horn wire harness. Next we're going to move on to the uh, steering wheel portion. So now we have the black wire from the top portion of the quick release going to the earth bracket supplied by the Workspell quick release kit. And we're going to have the red wire plug in to the keys racing horn button. So the red wire will go into this tab right here. So again, to recap, we have the top portion of the work spell quick release, then the earth bracket, and then our steering wheel. I also picked up some of these burnt blue titanium hardware from D&D. Right now, because of these uh, these slots, they're expanding the horn ring too wide, uh, so this won't actually fit in the hole for the steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is shave these tabs down, so that the overall diameter of the horn ring is a lot smaller, and therefore it can fit inside this hole. So we got the horn ring, the so we've clipped edges here and now the horn ring can fit a lot easier and hopefully this fits inside that hole now uh, the horn works all the controls work um, pretty happy with this setup uh, things you guys need to note if you guys do decide doing a setup like this is you do need like a flat style steering wheel uh, reason being is if you get a deep dish one then your hands will be a lot farther from the paddles um, so I highly recommend using a flat style or really shallow dish style steering wheel so that um, it's easier to reach the paddles other than that I can still switch my music and do phone calls and whatever with this control panel and I can still switch tunes and uh, uh, use cruise control if I my cruise control worked <laughs> um, but yeah everything works like stock it's pretty cool I'm happy with how it turned out I just took off the steering wheel looks like this and this is how the uh, controls look when you take it off um, it does I have a bucket seat so it does make uh, getting in and out quite a bit easier 